Hey guys, so let's take a look at the Mojave running on the MacBook Air. Now I'm not really going to be talking about the features, rather I would talk about how it feels and performs on the MacBook Air. So make sure you like this video and uh, let's begin. So first up, make sure you back up everything. So the file size was about 5.7 GB and I already downloaded and the whole process took about uh, 40 minutes. Alright, so it's all booted up as you can see, but the first thing that I noticed is that the trackpad gestures were not really working properly, so I had to go into the settings and uh, as soon as I clicked on the trackpad, again weirdly uh, they started working, so I didn't really have to reconfigure anything, but, but it could be a small glitch. So there are new wallpapers and also some wallpapers are taken from the iOS and uh, they look pretty cool, so I went with this uh, wallpaper. Also, uh, let's uh, look at the dark mode, uh, going to the settings and you can choose the light or the dark mode. Now the dark mode, it is not completely pitch black, but uh, this is how it looks and it looks pretty neat and you can also choose the accent colors and there are also some other settings that you can do. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, this and how it looks. Uh, the, this is the Safari and as you can see everything uh, becomes uh, dark and uh, this is the app store. This looks really cool and also the keynote. And this is the finder so these are all the native applications that work well but the third party apps don't really work as of now I mean the developers have to support this in their apps anyway moving on let's talk about the performance so as you can see there are a lot of uh, apps running and you can see the Safari and it has about a lot of tabs actually opened with heavy websites loaded you can see there are about eight tabs loaded with some other applications running in the background there is absolutely no lag or slowdown at all. The animations look great. As you can see, this is the Engadget, which is pretty heavy and the scrolling looks pretty smooth. The animations, everything feels really, really fluid as you can see. And uh, let me also just open YouTube and uh, let me just uh, play a video. Then I will go on to another application. I just want to show you the real life performance. I mean, this is what we normally do. We browse, we watch videos, we stream we multitask so basically this should give you a better idea of how it uh, performs so as you can see i opened uh, the chrome and you can see there are also a few tabs running and uh, websites loaded and uh, nothing seems to slow it down so far and there is keynote running uh, i'm working on a slide and also there is this uh, movie being edited in the iMovie and uh, nothing seems to slow it down and even the scrubbing and everything works fine and uh, uh, the app store so all of these apps are open now what i'm going to do is uh, push it forward and uh, i'm going to play a 4k video and 4k video requires a lot of power but uh, here this is actually a 4k video and uh, let me play this as well so as you can see a lot of things are running in the background and i'm actually playing a 4k video and there is no drop in frames or anything as such so the performance is uh, as good as ever if not better So here are the benchmark results for those who are interested in numbers and uh, you can see there is a slight improvement compared to the Mac OS High Sierra. You can also check the benchmark results of the High Sierra as you can see which I did almost 9 months ago. So definitely looks better even in terms of numbers. So should you update? I would definitely say yes uh, looking at my experience. So that's been it for this video guys. Please give a like and also subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.